going to do is go to file and you create a new lay a document sorry so you set the width to 1280 and you leave the height at 720 leave the resolution at 300 or anyhow you want it when you are done click ok now the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to add a solid color to my document now the color that i'm going to use is 71000 and then i'll click ok when i'm done now go ahead and i'll add the gradient to it I'll go to the gradient panel and I'll choose this one. I'll click OK and then I'll change this one to radial and I'll reverse it. I'll click on the scale and I'll scale it up a bit. When I, I'm done, I'll click OK and then I'll set the blend mode to overlay. Now let's go ahead and add our test. So I'll be using the purpose to do this one. So I'll just type in the first letter, that's G. Since we are creating something for glass. So you can position it in the middle. This is what we are going to apply the effect on. And we will use this particular one to do the rest of the test. So once you've done this, you go to fill. And you set it to zero now right click on the layer and go to blend mode the first effect that we are going to apply is the bevel and emboss so you click on bevel and emboss now go to the style and change it to pillow emboss make sure that that is about 700 to 800 anyhow you want it around this area 7 800 okay so now make sure the direction is up and the size is 5 when you are done go to stroke now change the color to red so if you are using something like blue for the background over here you change that one to blue too so you click ok and you make sure that the position is inside when you are done, you have to go to inner shadow. Under inner shadow, change the blend mode to normal and leave the opacity at 75, the distance, everything. Leave everything under uh, the normal way. So you go to gradient overlay, and here this is the gradient that I'm using. So you can use these colors if you want to and uh, this one so when you are done you click ok and you set the opacity to about 20 to 25 so i'll leave mine at 23 and i think it's okay let everything remain the same now the last thing that we are going to apply is the outer glow the outer glow you leave everything so you leave everything under normal and then the only thing you can change is the color so I might, I might try to bring in something here alright so I think this one will do so when you are done with everything you just have to click OK and then you group all these ones so we have our glass test effect ready so all you have to do is press ctrl J and then you make a duplicate of it so uh, you leave it like here and then you, you you type in the rest of the test so let's do this so i have my glass test ready now we are going to apply a few effects to it to make it look more nice so you just have to select the g hold shift and select the rest of the test press ctrl j to group it now you can make a duplicate of this one and hide the original folder now right click on the copied one convert to smart objects and then you can rasterize this one now you press ctrl a to 
make a selection and then you center it at the middle yeah so you press ctrl d when you are done now you can scale it up a bit you press ctrl t to do that and then now let's add another copy of it and then we add another by pressing ctrl g now the third copy we press ctrl t and then we right click and we select flip vertical now you bring it down a little bit and then you add layer mask to it select your gradient to from here and then you can make sure that the gradient you are using this one so you click ok and then you can drag from here to the top and you have a very nice shadow like this so that's it guys that's how to create an awesome glass test effect in photoshop i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you did i hope you give it a like and subscribe for more